I have some right here, so. Addressing the elephant in the room. Thank you for what you said. Um, we have 286 employees in the city of Jackson. I believe my count is right. I will never approve or raise a budget for any entity if everybody don't get a piece of the pie. There are times when I'm driving, I will literally pull my truck over and thank the people that work the yard. There are times I'm in a restaurant, if I see a fireman or whoever in there and get ready to get their meal, I will pay for it out of my pocket because I appreciate the teamwork. We're all struggling financially. We really are. The budget is tight. So I just want to make sure it's clear that if anything ever come to this council while I'm here, if it don't include everybody, take it back to the table and fix another case. One thing I'd like to say, it seems like we can't stay out of the controversy. You know, I want to see the city of Jacksonville move forward yeah. without a good controversy. And as a council, we've got to work together. We've got a new mayor. Let's give him a chance. Let's, let's don't try to bypass the mayor and the normal budgeting procedures and go around, you know, behind closed doors. And let's give our mayor a chance to present his first budget instead of trying to go around, you know, and, and do backdoor deals, you know, that violate the law. Basically, you know, breaking the law. So uh, I, I just like to say, let's try try to be positive. Let's try to work together. Let's try to give the mayor a chance to address some of these issues. In, you know, a, a new budget, and you know, somebody can't just come up with an ordinance when you don't even have a, bu a budget. You know how it's going to affect you on your city dollars. You know, you have to go through your budget procedures through the mayor and all. And one thing, council members are legislative. We're not administrative, so we don't need to be meeting with individual employees. Amen. 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 Anyone else have Every, a wait a minute. Bear with me. Every one of us know you ain't supposed to meet two of them for anything without the press. Right. We all know that. I was on the school board. I knew that. You don't do that. You know? It's, it's like Mike Singletary said, my classmate, he said, I can't, I can't play with him, can't coach him. We gotta work as a team. Because all this reproach coming against the city is sickening. It's sickening. We got a great city here. Mayor hasn't been in here that long. He's doing all kinds of things in the in the community, but we so overshadowed with all this fecal matter that it just don't make sense. It don't make sense. This is a great city, and I want people in the community to know this is a great city. You take me. This is a great city. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have stayed here if it wasn't. I'm not from here. I decided to live here because of the greatness of Jacksonville. I take pride in this city. And I don't believe in all that underhanded mess. So let's just keep it real. And don't use my name or nothing if you don't know fact, I'm gonna come at you. Okay. Any other council member? 